live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri. He is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable K. KSM show. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. You know, last week it was getting so hot and exciting. And we had to, we had to, we had to end the show. But we are back to continue this week. I'm in the house again with my son, with Maya, and my daughter-in-law that I'm just meeting for the first time. <laughs> we're going to take a quick commercial break when we come back. We're going to continue from where we were left off the last time. Stick around. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. Okay, folks, by the kind courtesy of US Aid for Africa and Cactus Creek, we are offering a free hospitality skills training. Free. This is great news for the youth out there. If you are interested in the free hospitality skills training, well, Cactus Creek is organizing a whole week from April 29th to the 3rd of May on hospitality skills training. Let me give you some of the courses you'll be learning. One, customer service. Two, front office and waiting. Three, spa services. Four, housekeeping services. And five, food packaging. Interested ones, please call this number right now. 027-004-7008. And folks, for information, this is free hospitality skills training. So for all of you who ever wanted to be in hospitality, this is your chance. It is free and the venue is Cactus Creek. Is it the luxurious rooms? or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? Or the cute gift shop? Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 -039 -5007. SM show. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. And you know, um, 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 last week uh, when we were leaving, of Woody, why are you telling me you didn't want to be like a regular organ? You're a romantic crowd. Yeah. You want, let, let's spruce this thing up, let's get yeah. some flowers. Exactly. And, then, and then carry on. So you went and got the flowers? I got the flowers, and the flowers did the magic. Wow. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. That's what you're doing, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> But uh, apparently, in her mind, it was a different story. I what was, was like, in the that, mind? That was so sweet. But I didn't think, okay, now I want you to be my boyfriend. But I was like, oh, wow, no one has ever done this for me. This is so sweet. Yeah, that just... But you, you, you you'd sort of, when you saw her, hmm. that was your first time seeing her. Yeah, I mean, she was gorgeous, bro. Very, I mean, I was like, you know what? We got to take this to the next level. Una. Yeah. Love at first sight. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, walk us through now. Uh, so he has accepted the, yeah. the flowers and... Accepted the flowers. I mean, we were together just creating videos. Everyone is doing their own thing. But I think the audience kind of also 
love the vibe between us. But I mean, both of us, it was just like making videos and that's it. And then I left to my next country. And then, yeah, she continued to stay in Ethiopia. And I guess... Hey, you skipped a lot, babe. Oh, wow. She's, fill, fill us in. In Ethiopia, um, we were living in the same hotel but different rooms. What you have skipped, you haven't told them, is he played a very critical role in who I am today. He showed me how to create content. I was mm. posting, I think, once a week. And I was saying, I'm not making any money. And he told me, how many times do you post? I said once. He said, people go to work every day. Is this your work? I said, yes. And you go to work once a week? I said, yes. <laughs> I he like said, that. And you're complaining about the money you make? He told me, if this is your job, you need to take it seriously. You need to post every day. Wow. And then I started posting every day and he showed me how to put ads in the videos. And then he taught me how to believe in myself. I used to put everyone in my tags. Look, he was going through and said, who is this? Why are you putting this? I'm like, oh. So he showed me so much. And that month I made the most I had ever made on YouTube. I never mm. even thought I'd make th that money on YouTube. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah, thanks to him. And I'm so grateful for that. Mm. But, uh, yeah, show some love. Show some love. Show some love. Yeah. I, I think I really believe he was God sent. Mm. But as I was learning and growing, he was falling for me. Mm. Wow. <laughs> you were doing the learning and growing, and you were doing the falling in love. <laughs> so, what do I have? I ran up my blood, man. Please. <laughs> <laughs> At, at what point did I you love that. I love that. You love that, eh? I love that. I love that too. <laughs> at what point did you realize, Charlie? This my investment is, is showing complete potential. She's growing. <laughs> She's so, making money. Yeah. Uh, to, to be honest with you, um, what really got my attention was the fact that she was able to do a lot in a short time. You know, um, mm. you tend to teach people what to do. But at the end of the day, they don't show any attitude mm -hmm. that shows mm -hmm. that they're really absorbing what you're teaching mm -hmm. them. So, I mean, we, we spent just a few days together. And I saw the, the improvement, the improvement, the, the hard work that she was putting in. And trust me, as a Ghanaian, I don't like to spend money. Mm. I don't, I don't want to spend my money on a woman. Mm. Do you mm. understand? So mm. if I've made an investment in terms of just talking, and then she's been able to convert the talking into it's money, the then you're not going anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> So it, it's more like you, you, you now have to keep the money within the family. Yeah, you know no. what I mean? Instead of you going to, I mean, there's a guy who's not working so hard. And yeah, going the they're going to enjoy ah, the ah, money. Ah, ah, please, let the money stay in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep the money in the family. In the family. So that's where I started asking her, do you have anyone somewhere? And it's like, no, she's all by herself. And I had to just work extra harder. Mm, and I, mm. you know, as a Ghanaian, sometimes we act so stubborn. So I, I, I tried the stubbornness on her. Mm. So I left. And then at some point she was asking me, so who are we, right? Because I played the role that I need to play. And, and what role was that? That you don't you do uh, you know, like, pulling back? You try to show that you are interested. Yeah. And then you exit. Uh, you get it. To see whether they will Yeah. So, so you I, I exit. And then I saw her like, you know, coming all the time. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's not just me. She's also interested. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. she started asking me, who are we? And I'm like, what do you mean by who are we? <laughs> <I mean>. <laughs> <laughs> because when she started the story, it's like, she didn't fall in love. It was not love at first. Time. Yeah. But I saw the potential and I started making the move. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, I, I, I felt like she was getting that too much, so I left. Mm, and mm. I went to my next country, continue my trip, and guess what? I was still spending some time with other people, even though there was nothing going on, just to, you know, just put pressure on her to <laughs> accept it as soon as possible. So, you know, she sees me with other people and be like, who is she? And I'm like, I have no right to ask who is she because <laughs> at the end of the day, there's nothing between yeah. us, you know. So, so uh, once she asked, who are we? Yeah, what, we was, what was your answer? We just ask, we. Who are we? Yeah. Just we are we. <laughs> yeah. We are who we are. So what happened was my ticket was from Tanzania to Ghana. Uh -huh. That was my last country. I was supposed to fly from Tanzania back to Ghana. Mm. So what I did was um, when she started asking me questions like, 
who are we and all of that. I was like, you know what, let me just fly into Kenya. Mm. So I went to Kenya for five days. And then I guess that's where everything just, I mean, we're getting more closer, closer. And as a Ghana guy, five days, I was out. Wow. Came to Ghana. On, I left Kenya on Friday. On Sunday, she was in Ghana. Wow. Yeah, that's the Ghana magic. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let me get your version. Not, not. What, what, what happened? Well, so uh, he left. He left me in Ethiopia, and I was creating content. But he was texting me all the time. Mm. Wow. What was yes. he saying? Hey, how you doing? How's your day? Mm. I was also texting him, and then I finally went back to Kenya, and uh, we will talk once in a while. So I just wanted to know: don't waste my time. Let me know: is there anything going on mm. here, or mm. should I move on with my mm. life? And, uh, yeah, we, we were not clear at that particular point. Then he came to Kenya. And then we were trying to figure things out. Ah, and then he went to Ghana. I followed him to Ghana. I don't even know how I followed him, but I followed him to Ghana. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Ghana magic. The Ghana magic. I'm telling you. <laughs> Is that the best way? Hey. Magic. Hey. Magic. <laughs> the magic was kicking in. Yeah. So you came to Ghana? I came to Ghana for the first time. I was fascinated. How long did you go to Singapore straight from Ghana? So I, I, I was supposed to go to China within the same week. So when she came, I had to extend my stay for one more week. So we ended up staying in Ghana for two weeks. Mm. Yeah, and two weeks, I left for China and she left for Kenya. So I was in China and when we continued talking. And then I was like, you know, it's about time for us to make mm. it official. So I asked her, can you meet me in Singapore? Because Singapore is visa free for me. And Singapore is visa free for her too. Okay. So I was like, yo, can you meet me in Singapore? This is not me using my money to buy a ticket for you to come to Singapore. If she asked me for money to come to Singapore, I would have told her, you know, don't come. So, but when I asked her to meet me in Singapore, the following day, she was there. in Singapore. And I was like, you know what? It's about time to make it official. And so I believe that we started dating in Singapore. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's when you officially, like, yeah, official. popped the I question? Mean, yeah. I mean, there's still, I was still playing the Ghana role when I was in <laughs> Ghana. Because, you know, I, I was based in China. And my whole life has been China. So I, I never imagined coming back to the continent mm, to do what I'm doing mm, right now. Mm. So I didn't want anything to hold me back. So if you have a lady from Africa, which means you have to be coming from China to, I don't want that. So I was just playing that hard to get at some point that, hey, I just want to stay in China. I have no business mm, with Africa. Mm. But then she stole my heart mm. and um, went to China and I had no option than to return to Africa. So even coming back to Africa, as soon as possible, I believe that she made it possible. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. So, so you, you popped the question, he popped the question, like, I want, his words were? Um, let's make it official. Let's make it official. Yeah. <laughs> Which means it was happening. I mean, let's make it official. It was, it was, it was more like happening. It yeah. was more like, we, we know it, but I was more like, I don't want to, return back to the continent. Mm. I don't want to be in Africa. Mm. So, I mean, if I make it official, which means that uh, you, somebody out here is waiting for you, right? Mm. And I didn't want to just play that role of being in China and my girlfriend is in Africa, no. But then when I decided, when I told her to meet me in Singapore, and I was like, okay, she came by herself, her own money. Why not? Which Why means not? the investment have paid off. Yeah. So yeah, it's about time. You know, you don't have to spend so much when you're in a relationship. Mm. You know, because I, I, I find it so fascinating to see men acting like that, even though you are just a boyfriend. Like even coming to see you, Uber, you have to pay for. So why not empower your girlfriend mm. in a way that when you empower her, you don't need to be paying all those petty, petty money. Mm. So I mean, mm. It's been an amazing relationship. I mean, we got married with just a thousand dollars. It's just us investing in ourselves than to invest in mm. things that. So there was no like major weddings no, or no, ceremonies, no, 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 nothing no, no, like no, that. No, we, 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 we did what we have to do because marriage is between families. It's mm -hmm. not between 
people that we don't even know come yeah. and eat your food and go home. <laughs> um, what I have, I have invested a lot in terms of us. Like we invest in things that really matters. We, we can walk in town and say that this belongs to us, that belongs to us, both countries, right? But wedding, all I can say is I did the biggest wedding in Ghana and I didn't, did, did that bring me any money? No. So I don't encourage young people investing in things that, because I always tell people wedding is not an investment. Marriage is an investment, but wedding, it's not. Wow. It's just Put a your hands time. together, man. Yeah. Put your hands together. That's that's cool. Yeah. So I mean, the investment is the marriage, not the wedding. Not the wedding. So she she really understands me. I understand her. We know where to put the money. So I'm like, that's my wife, you know. Yeah. Well, let's make it happen. You know, yeah. I I even tricked her when we were about to get married, and I was telling her, I don't want us to spend so much money on the wedding. So I spoke to the dad, and the dad is like, I'm not selling my daughter. Mm. Uh, just mm. you know, the the father never even asked me how much money I have to pay mm. for the dowry. Wow. No. He asked me, hey, if she loves you, you love her, just give me something that you think it's okay for you. That's it. Wow. The rest, so they didn't give you any list no, 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 of no, items? No, no, no. I, I made it in life, you know? Like, I feel like... <laughs> 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 like really, I, I, the yeah. most people, because I think the father even sees me and he's so proud of me. Mm. The father is actually in Ghana. You know, oh, he's in Ghana yeah, now? He's, yeah, you know, I went and picked him myself and brought him. He's part of the dowry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. So, Trudy, so now you are in Ghana now, a married woman to this Ghanaian. So far? So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought I would ever move from Kenya. But I'm falling in love with Ghana so much. Mm. Even when I'm leaving Ghana, I feel... What do you love about Ghana? Oh, so much. I love the weather. I love the food. The people are just so different. What makes us different? You, you're so kind. Everything, please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say please all the time. <laughs> but you say it. Yeah. It's like, wow, I'm not... Have I met kind people like this in the world? Yeah. Please, how are you? Please, how are you? Like, <laughs> like why do you do that? <laughs> it's just too kind, you understand? Yeah. But it's a good thing. It makes it makes you feel respected. And there's just peace, you know? People are not rude. Okay, people still get angry because we are all human, but when a Ghanaian gets angry at you, you don't get that mad, you know? Yeah. I don't, do you get what I'm trying You haven't to say? seen his anger. <laughs> <laughs> I just give him a hard time every time. Don't mind me. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So you're loving it. So mm, much. Mm. The food, the way you guys dress. I think you're one of the best, if not the best, dressed. You know, people in Africa. Really? Yeah. Show us around. Hey. Like, you go, Ghanaians. Yeah. Like especially during weddings, events. I just love it. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what do you think about Kenyans now that she's talked about how she loves Ghana? Kenyans are incredible people. For me, I think what really stands out is the fact that they've developed their country. Um, Kenya is one of the most developed countries in Africa. Um, just that they, I, the food is kind of like different. I always say they don't have food in Kenya. Mm. But apart from that, it's a beautiful country with beautiful people. I mean, come on, man. If you want to see, every, I feel like Kenya got everything. They got a desert. They got the, uh, what you call it? Wildlife. The wildlife. The, I mean, they got the weather. I remember my first time going to Kenya thinking that, oh, Africa is just Africa. Everywhere mm. is hot. Mm. And I went to Kenya walking around, and nobody told me to go and buy a winter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> because it was so cold. Mm. And it's it, it just beautiful knowing that the people love me you know when i used to go to kenya before i used to struggle at the immigration office mm. like when i arrived because of my passport being green passport i used to struggle but now as soon as i arrive in kenya i don't even queue i don't queue i just as soon as they see what I'm, oh what am i and then immigration officer will go. <laughs> like, those are the privileges that i should be enjoying in ghana but i get to enjoy them whenever I'm in when kenya. you arrive in ghana you don't get that 
Oh, mm -hmm. me, I do. She you do? It, but yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayas are there. I don't even queue at the airport. You Go know, straight. For me, I, I, lo I just love that low-key life, you know. In Ghana, when I come, I just be hiding, just stay in the queue until I get to the immigration point. I'll be like, ah, it's Maya. But sometimes when I'm coming down from the stairs, they see me and then they come back. I just, I just love to be ordinary. That's it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, mm, I love mm, being ordinary. Mm, it, 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 see, I mean, being ordinary just makes you a free man. You know, I don't mm, like. I wish people can just enjoy my content and treat me like the village boy from God. You know, you kill, do whatever you have to do to get things done. It, it's beautiful, but sometimes you need to use that protocol, though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, yeah. It That's does come in Yeah. So, in your line of work, you are both. Bloggers or vloggers? Vloggers. Yeah. Do you, what, what's the extent of, do you collaborate to do the same pieces or you're doing your own and she's doing your own? What, what, when it comes to your work, how do you guys handle your... Well, uh, we do different type of content. I'm a travel and lifestyle content creator. Okay. Travel and lifestyle. Yes. Uh, but how do you describe your content? The African man, yeah. So I'm His more content serious. is serious. I'm too serious, you know. Um, yeah. More too. like educational kind of content. Yeah. It's travel, but more like education. So mm -hmm. if I travel, every video that I do, I want you to learn something from mm -hmm. the So I just don't do everything. It's mm -hmm. strictly something that connect or bring Africans together. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So sometimes when we like, um, like I said, I'll be coming to your resort. I cannot be here and do this video all by myself. I need to be with her. So that's the kind of collaboration mm. that we do. So when people see both of us in a resort like that, I mean, they tend to love it. And they, 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 they watch it to the end mm -hmm. because they've seen us together. And it gets a lot of traction anytime we mm -hmm. do stuff together. But that's sometimes the things that I always try to avoid so mm. that people don't get to know us too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Show some love, man. Well, we, we're hearing a lot. We're hearing a lot about the romance and the beauty and everything. Let's take a short commercial break. When we come back, I want to find out behind all this lovey-dovey stuff, is there anything for you wannabe couples to worry about or to think about? Stick around. When we come back, let's go behind the scenes to find out what happens in the love nest. Stick around. We'll be right back. KSM show. Okay, folks, by the kind courtesy of US Aid for Africa and Cactus Creek, we are offering a free hospitality skills training. Free. This is great news for the youth out there. If you are interested in the free hospitality skills training, well, Cactus Creek is organizing a whole week from April 29th to the 3rd of May on hospitality skills training. Let me give you some of the courses you'll be learning. One, customer service. Two, front office and waiting. Three, spa services. Four, housekeeping services. And five, food packaging. Interested ones, please call this number right now. 027-004-7008. And folks, for information, this is free hospitality skills training. So for all of you who ever wanted to be in hospitality, this is your chance. It is free and the venue is Cactus Creek. Is it the luxurious rooms? Or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? Or the cute gift shop? Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. 
most respected hotel. 055-039-5007 Hi, my name is Angela Meto, a massage therapist at Cactus Creek. My job is simply to pamper you with the three hours, to relax you, to revitalize you, and to rejuvenate you. Come and let me pamper you. 055 Most of you are loving my jacket. Me too, Sao. Hey, me feel rough. The jacket is provided by Asepa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0247-661983. So call as a pa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. SM show. Yay! We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. And I'm, I'm having fun with my, with my son and my daughter-in-law right here. And before the commercial break, you know, it's isn't it a beauty? Show them, show them some of one more time. You know, falling in love, and they seem to gel. You know, and everything is like really cool. But you know, behind the closed doors, um, let me start with Trudy. Have you ever had any, not regrets, but any decisions like, did I make the right choice moving to Ghana and he's the right guy? Anything like that? Well, uh, he makes me mad sometimes, but I never regret getting married mm. to him. What does he do to make you mad? He's just untidy. <laughs> like in the room, if you want to get a shirt or a short, just pull up the short. Yeah. He'll throw everything on the floor and then <laughs> leave it there. He's looking for his shoes, throw every Oh so annoying. You know it's you like know, You know why? He's my son. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my wife going, ah <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah. he just untidy. Mm. It's like just come on. Like can we just have a neat house? Like for me, I like when you organize everything. Everything is you well can organized. Stay like that yeah. for even up to a month. Because, you know, you just take what you need. Ah, but you'll organize today, tomorrow, everything is on the floor. <laughs> and then the worst thing, he won't put it back. Mm. He'll, he'll expect you to put it back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he wants you to put it back. <laughs> yeah, he'll expect you to put it back. He'll, he'll do that and then say he's in a rush. He needs to go somewhere. Yeah. Just like, just <laughs> things like that. <laughs> I, I, I hate it to see that everything is organized in the room, you know. You don't like it? You don't like it? I, I just feel like it shows that no one is staying in there. <laughs> <laughs> because even, even when I travel, like my bag. Yeah. Like, anytime I travel, when I get to the hotel room, I just take everything. Scatter everything. Scatter everything. And when I'm about to leave, that's when I put everything together. Mm. I don't mm. know. I find joy seeing things everywhere. Always. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so here's a, here's a question. Yeah. Have you decided that's him? I might as well get used to that and start complaining or it still needles you every time he does it? Um, I hope we're going to get to a point where he can be able to be a little bit neat. Mm. But at the end of the day, we are stuck together. There's no way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go anyway. Mm. So I just have, 
I hope he can adjust and they can also adjust. Yeah. So meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Will, will you meet her halfway? I, I, will I you? I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I think, like I said, that's what makes me happy, you know? And, and you know, sometimes we've been in the room and I feel like we happy all the time. Mm. Can you just make one person mad? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just, you know, you start, you know, I say like, more. What, you know, too happy. You know, the, the, the best part, I don't know, I mean, this is from an experience, yeah. Like, the ang like when you are angry, mm. and then you have to reconcile. Yes. That gives you one of the best bedroom rooms. <laughs> <laughs> that, so, so, I'm like, I, ha I hate it when all the time we're in the room and, Everything, Everything is, is okay. No, yeah. come on, let's fight a it little bit. It is okay. Let's, let's, let's cause some chaos. And then make up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, when you're mad, when you're trying to touch, they say no. No. Ah, that is the best one. Wow. Yeah. And then you eventually are able to touch her. Exactly. And then the, and then the fireworks. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I remember some old song when I was way back then. They said, the best part of breaking up is when you are making up or something yeah. you know yeah. when you've had that agree exactly. confrontation and then you, you make up you, you know? make up exactly do you feel the same way well me i just like love us when you're happy and that peace you know i so like it we can't be happy all the time it's <laughs> like it's like trying to portray that everything is perfect i don't i i always want to be like yo I think it's been a week, nothing has happened. <laughs> Can I just cause some trouble? <laughs> you know, so I, I, I love causing just to spice the relationship out. Yeah. Yeah, it just fights a little bit. What, are, what, what kind of trouble do you cause? Sometimes you just, I just. Go ahead. Don't say it. Say, feel free. Sometimes there's nothing. It's just angry for <laughs> And I'm like, what's going on? It's just angry. Yeah, sometimes I just feel like, why, why, why are you. Smiling a lot, you know. <laughs> you've been you've been so happy this week. So I have to make you. Let me. I, I can even try something to make her angry, but she doesn't know that it's intentional. Yeah. I just, like it's just to spice certain things up because I I I hate to see everything perfect. I mean, I don't. Want, life cannot be perfect, you know. You you learn from it. You get to see the. I see you. he's in shock. He can't be <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to follow his logic. Yeah, yeah. You have to see the other side too sometimes. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. always the good, the bad, and the, and ugly. the ugly. And she's always on the good. Ah, uh, no. It, it annoys me when she's always on the good side. So you have to make it bad and ugly. Yes. Not and then, too ugly. Not too ugly. Just I make push it, it bad. You know, you push the bad. I know what to push, you know. Mm -hmm. I know I know her like the power. So I know if she's so happy this week, I'm like. Let me push this button. Yeah. And, what what and I can what what will you push for example what will you do? So, I can see maybe she has arranged the wardrobe, <coughs> then, like I'm coming to see you like this instead of knowing that this clothes is right there. I know she's on the bed. What is she doing? She's just on her phone. So I just end up just pulling things on the bed on the floor, and then I'm like, oh, why are you not arranging it? I'm in a hurry. Then I leave. And when I come back, I'm expecting to see her arrange the thing nicely again. When I come, because I did it, she's like, she's waiting for me to come. Come back and do it. That's when the anger starts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and don't forget that it's late in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. And then she, she apologized, and I also apologized, and we make it happen. Ah, then the fireworks flow. Peace. <laughs> peace, perfect <laughs> peace. <laughs> Uri Maya, you're crazy, man. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even ask. Do you have... Um, is, so your dad is in Ghana now? Yeah. He's visiting with you guys? Yeah. yeah. And your mom? Ah, my mom passed away when I was 16. Oh, when you were 16? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Belated condolences. Thanks. And what? You have other siblings? I have two brothers and just me. I'm the only girl and my two brothers. Okay, okay. So let me go to the next question, you know. Yeah. I mean, when, when people get so deal with Ghana, you can understand. Once you're married, then, then the question so you have thinking of a family, mm. yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You have those plans yeah. and the works and everything. Definitely, definitely. It's just that for uh, us, we're just trying to, you know, 
like you know the system that we have when mm. you get married right from there yeah. you know, to just you know have kids and all of that but we have a lot installed a mm -hmm. lot planned because we're still young so we're trying to because i didn't want to take so long to get yeah. married i just want to settle down know that this is the woman that i'm with and from there whilst we are in the marriage learn from each other and see what next and when you are ready for kids why you, not yeah we'll, we'll make it happen yeah. because we got a lot of things that because i i I want to tell you something. I've been poor before. I've been eating cocoa all my life. Mm. And um, I want to make plans that I, my children don't eat cocoa every day. <laughs> you know, so At least every <laughs> month. Exactly. I mean, the cocoa is part of us. Once in a month or twice in a month, you can eat it. But, you know, it's more like trying to plan for the future so that mm. even if we stop making videos, we still have something else to yeah. do. And we have, uh, I think we have like three to four years to quit what we do and then focus on the next step so that's basically mm. what we're planning mm. before anyone comes into the picture mm -hmm. yeah. that is beautiful yeah. that is beautiful yeah because on 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 this side so i don't know about kenya but in ghana once you are married yep then you hear the old okay oh okay <laughs> and then next 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 year then now we are coming for the outdooring <laughs> you know exactly. so there's pressure that that's if you're married then yeah. get on with the business yeah. of Pro yeah. Reproduction, exactly. But you are taking your time to no, know each other, you build time. yourselves before. Exactly, exactly. Because the most important thing for us is to build the whole empire. Mm -hmm. You know, and that empire, it's more like not just you and your family, mm. but to the entire country must even benefit from the empire mm. you're building. Mm. And it takes time. Mm. You know, it takes time. And I'm just taking my time, mm -hmm. learn along the journey, and when we are ready. We let the world know that we're ready. You're ready. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. When you're ready, the world will know exactly. that you're ready. Exactly. I saw some uh, advertisement, I guess, on your on Facebook. Yeah. You're looking for writers yeah. who help change the narrative. I want you to talk about that for a bit. Then I will. Yeah. So uh, I feel like I'm getting old. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing over and over again. And I want to change in and I want to tell more stories. I want to be able to tell a thousand stories more before I quit. So with that, I need more people to help me write the stories. So it's more like if Mordemai is going to Botswana, I don't need to sit down, do my own research about Botswana. Somebody needs to come into the picture, do the research, do the stories that they think I can cover when I'm in the country. So when I get there, all I need to do is to read the script mm, and then mm, just go mm, with the flow. Mm. So I talked to my team about it and they felt like, you know what, it's about time for us to employ a script writer. Mm. And that's how we ended up posting that ad. I think yesterday, uh, when they gave me the number of people that applied over 220, and I'm yeah. like, my goodness, I just needed two people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and not, not to, not to yeah. uh, disparage any Ghanaian, trust me, over the 220 applications you received, trust me, you probably won't get more than five who fit what you're looking for. I'm saying this based on experience. Wow. I recruit from companies, I, I do. Uh, career counseling, I do training, I do all sorts of things, and I'm telling you, it is so hard. You have the time, let somebody go through the yeah. hundred yeah. and see how many he'll bring you and say, this is my short list. Yeah. You so, feel like you get five. Yeah, we can, I, you know? I can't wait to at least get two or three people yeah. to come and join the team because we, we need to expand what we yeah. do. Because uh, we recently just employed new editors. Mm -hmm. But it's more like a uh, mobile. Everybody's going to be in their countries and we shoot, you edit because we're coming up. I mean, I'm bringing the old Watermeyer back. I feel like I'm too relaxed these days. So I'm bringing the old Watermeyer where every day you get a video to watch from Watermeyer. Mm. So because of that, we had to employ more, more people. people. So we yeah. have done all of that. Now we just need the script writers to help us mm. and we're good to go. Mm. Yeah. Great, great, great. Truly, you are more into lifestyle and travel. What's 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 your rate like in terms of getting? Do you have you gotten to the point where you need script writers too, or you you're on your own right now, figuring out what kind of lifestyle to write about? And I'm currently on my own and I'm enjoying it because I used to be alone way back, and then I got a team, and then uh, I had to let the team go. Now I'm alone. In future, I'll probably get a videographer and uh, an editor. But for now, I'm enjoying just, mm. you know, 
-hmm. giving my videos my all, meaning I shoot, I edit, I do everything. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Shoot, edit, and put everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. Give out your 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 social page. I also, I won't. I won't even try to tell you to give. It. Trudy, how do we reach you on? Um. So I am Miss Trudy M I S S T R U D Y on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok, and, and on Twitter. Okay, yes. and it's on the screen right now, and I want you to start checking out right this minute. Please yeah. come over and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> What am I? You are in our face. No, I. I mean, yeah. What am I? What am I? Is here. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. No, it, it's very important to subscribe to uh, KSM YouTube channel. He's. Uh, I call him the OG. You know. I mean, he was here since some of us were born, and he's still here. And sometimes when he tests me, I'm like, I can't believe he's testing me. Sometimes I need to read. You know, because. I have so much respect for you and what you do, and I'm so glad you've given me such a opportunity to sit down and speak to you. I mean, listen, uh, it, it's like we, we say, "All hail the king!" Yeah, nah, you're the man. You're the man. No, no, Let, no you, you're the man. No, I was the man. No, now you're, you're still, the man. You still, no, 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 no. I mean, you're still the man. You got, I mean. How many people can do what you do and still stay in the game till today? You know, if you call us even in midnight time, we'll show up. I'll be it's calling you at midnight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rewind a bit. Yeah. Now we've, we've seen the lovey dovey and yeah, everything, yeah. the goods, the bad, the ugly, everything. Yeah. But there was something you had said earlier yeah. about how your investment in Trudy was part of making sure that she'll be groomed as an independent person yeah. and how now yeah. she doesn't rely on you for anything. Yeah. Is that a policy you believe in that, you know, uh, women generally should get to the point where they don't depend on any man for any support? What, what is your policy? I'm not, I'm not saying women should be independ uh, de independent totally, but mm. I'm just saying that as a man, if you always allow your woman to be dependent on you all mm. the time, then mm. why are you the man? Mm. Because at the end of the day, you should be able to empower your woman. You see, you can ask 10 women, like, what do you bring on the table? And they mm. will tell you sex. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. What do you bring on the table? Like, we moved to a new house. And when we moved to the new house, I was away. I was not in the country, right? All I need to do is, like, hey, Babes, takes this amount of money. But I know when I came back, the money that I gave her and the things that are in the house are more than the money I gave her. Mm. I would say like mm. times two. So I don't need to just be like, okay, how did you get this? I know that the investment that I did is paying off and that's how she was able to fill up the gap when I was not around. So I believe that it's about time for us to empower women than to always let them be dependent on mm, us that without mm, us then mm. they go and see another person who has yeah, more money and yeah. then you have more it. money than you I get it. and they take advantage of you but at the end of the day if you meet women that makes their own money come on they don't even respect the men <laughs> do you understand so i always tell people you know what empower them mm. show them the way teach them something encourage them to invest in themselves mm. and at the end of the day it's all about the fake life Mm. You know, we're living in a country where so many people are living the fake life. Mm. I mean, everyone, mm. they say fake it till you make it. Yeah. But for us, it's not like that. Yeah. If I don't have it, I don't have it. I'm yeah. just going to let you know I don't have it. Yeah. But I know that in my home, I've empowered my woman. And at the end of the day, if I'm broke, yeah. so broke, yeah. I won't sleep hungry because my woman will provide. All right. All right. All right. So give it up, man. Give it up. And, and when you were talking, it was, it was very instructive for me when you, you appreciated that, that you owe a lot to him because he taught you a lot. And basically that he's part of the reason that you are economically independent now. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, I don't think I'd be here if I hadn't met him. Mm. And before I met him, I used to pray a lot. That's why I say I believe he's an answered prayer. And yeah, he just taught me so much and showed me that nothing is impossible. 
and even when you know just to add on to what he was saying i i usually feel so bad uh when i, I meet men whose women expect them to pay everything mm. I'm like that's so unfair especially if your man is hustling mm. where, where where should he how do you expect him to pay for everything sure mm. Mm. you are all hustling you're all human beings you know and most of us have not come from rich homes <clears throat> So where is he supposed to get money to pay your salon to pay your transport to buy you food? Oh my god, it's a lot. So for me I tell men, don't entertain such women. Mm. Like let your woman put in some effort. How mm. how how can mm. a woman just expect you to do everything? Like I don't yeah. understand such yeah. women honestly. Like I feel like it's teamwork. You work together as a mm-hmm. team mm-hmm. and you get the job done. Mm. How how Oh my god. I wouldn't even feel comfortable if a man is just doing everything for me. Mm. Like it's embarrassing. Mm. Like I feel embarrassed because it's like like what am I bringing to the table? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, but that's just how I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Make it happen. Wow. Well, let me say this has been really a great experience having the two of you here, man. Thank you. It's, it's Thank just you. learning from how you got together and how you are staying together and how you will stay together. It's, it's an inspiration for many. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Following you know? the footsteps of Kwame Nkrumah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you are born in Kwame Nkrumah, so I have to yeah. end on an Nkrumah note. Yeah. At long last. The battle <laughs> has ended. Yeah. And... Um, uh people see pan african in you hmm. like in chroma hmm. like marcus gave yeah i'm not going to assume so no yeah i was a new marcus gave yeah i you know i don't i don't see my i don't normally say this as i know what people say like he's a pan african i i just feel like as an african I'm so proud of the continent mm. and um, I can't wait to celebrate every single African. Mm. It's just me celebrating African. It's just me seeing Africa beyond um, what you call we say continent. Mm. I don't see Africa as a continent. I see different African countries as a state. So mm-hmm. I see the entire continent as a country because when I go to Kenya, Omudi Kusuri Moko. So if we are eating Kusuri Moko in Ghana thinking that, oh, it's just a Ghana thing. Then you travel to Kenya is the same thing. If you say trotro, if you travel to Kenya is the same thing. Like we just different people scattered in yeah, different countries. Yeah. So I am living in a continent, but to me it's a country for me. Mm. And I am celebrating everyone. I mean people normally say this guy promotes other African countries more than Ghana. In my head, it's just another state. Within mm, a country, mm, so mm. it's just like if you take me to Kenya, I feel like I'm in Western region. Mm-hmm, <laughs> so mm, I'm just mm, promoting mm. another part of um, the continent or the country. Mm. So um, it's just me, just loving the continent and loving black people across the globe. Mm, and if mm. that is Pan Africanism, fine, fine. But yeah. I don't claim those titles that I'm mm, a Pan Africanist. Mm, I am mm, this, this, mm. and that. I'm just celebrating. Yeah. I, I, I look at you. And I, I easily can understand the comparison between you and the likes of Nkrumah, Marcus Gavi and everything. The only difference I see is that, you know, they didn't have the internet to deal with and social media to deal with. But that is what you are using to do exactly what they were doing. You know, Nkrumah was talking on every platform trying to connect minds and Africa together. But it, it wasn't happening the way he wanted it. But somehow, you're just having fun, but traveling to all the African states, making the videos, you are connecting us. Yeah. So you are connecting us digitally, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love that. Let me give you this um, testimony. When I went to Barbados, yeah. I think there was a woman that she met first. Mm. And then the woman, she told the woman that she was from Africa, Kenya. And the woman is like, there's this young man that she's been watching. That because of this young mm, man, mm. she is buying apples from Kenya. Wow. So I think she asked the woman to show me the young man. 
what is your young man? I was the one. He's your husband. <laughs> so he's like, okay, that's my husband. Let me go and call him because he's in the car. So I was in the car. Yeah. And then she came to call me. Wow. Then when I go there, the woman was crying. Wow. Because this is the guy that she's been watching, getting mm -hmm. to see more of Africa. Mm -hmm. Even now importing apples from Kenya. Kenya too. Because of because of what he saw you so do. It's like yeah. if you say connecting, that's what we're doing. Yeah. I mean connecting. we we are connecting. In our own way, it's just a struggle, but we're gonna make it happen. We will make it happen. We'll make it yeah, happen. Yeah. And you are yeah, show you some love, man. <laughs> so you are connecting, you're doing yeah. yours digitally. Exactly. And it, the speed at which you're doing it is amazing. You know? You. I mean, hey, you know. So truly, we are truly happy that uh, you're falling into the arms of uh Woody Woody Meyer. And I wish you all the best, you know, Thank honestly. You um, I'm going to start following your pages seriously for now, you know, so that I can catch up with what you do. But please keep it up. Thank you. Woody, what can I say? Keep it up, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Because what you're doing has been done. But sometimes it's okay, hey, this is what Nkrumah, Marcos, Gabi, said, far, far, far away. But you're doing it now. And you're doing it digitally. And very soon, because of what you're doing, you'll be surprised how you're going to bring all black people, not only from the continent, but in the diaspora together. Stay blessed, man. Truly. Hope to see you again very soon. With my promise, say, when you're a politician, so on that note, let me happily say, until next time, when I bring you some mind-boggling Conversations, KSM standing of us as always then. I am out of let the whole world see here. Show.